it's always starting these things is always an exciting prospect and um, you never really know where things are going to go and so it was just about being being excited to get going and and to do everything I could to, to bring as much of as much of book Geralt uh, from the books um, into the show I'm always scared of like the camera on the first day of set I forget what it's like to act in front of the camera so it takes a bit of a while for me to get into my groove but um a week in, I, it's muscle memory. I am you know, second nature to play Yennefer, which is really lovely. Oh, I was just so excited. It was like Christmas Day, Aww. honestly. I couldn't sleep the night before. I'm pretty sure I got about four hours sleep. I was so excited, <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I, I before filming started, I, I went to, into the stunt, uh, stunt department and they taught me like the basic sword work, the basic techniques so that I could kind of that allows you basically to take on like harder choreography once you know that, it's like dance. And um, yeah, and I would just stay in there for hours. I, th I remember Adam, the stunt coordinator, kind of saying to me, I mean, you might as well sleep here, Freya, at this point. Like I just, he'd, he'd, he'd see me in the morning, come back in and I was like hours later and I was still there just because I, I loved it. I loved, I also loved the stunt department as well. Hmm. It was just so much fun. And I'm just exactly like Siri in terms of like, wanting to be perfect and wanting to um, do, do learn more and more and more and get better and better and better and be as good as I can be. So yeah, I loved all of that and um, also getting to do stunts as well. Um, some stunts which did actually like, you know, uh, involve like some, you know, ad adrenaline and um, yeah, I, I loved, I love all that. I think that's, I'm so lucky to get that, like to get to have that as another element to this show. I don't think there are any new things, no. Uh, I spent more time horse riding uh, again, just to really bring up my horsemanship as much as I can. There's, I've still got a long way to go with that, but um, I, I enjoy it. I enjoy it enormously, and I had the great pleasure of riding two fantastic horses. Um, so it was, that was, that's one of the better parts of my job, for sure. Obviously, there's always a kind of a challenge with horse whatever riding. the script is. I know, she thinks I'm a bad horse rider. No, That's I, always I was, a challenge. No, I was, no, 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 I'm just saying that, you know, we had to, horse we both had year. to learn. Well, I, I still learn. We were cantering. Yeah, I'm still, I'm still learning. We cantered up a hill. Yeah, we did. Horse riding. Yeah. I still have a lot to learn. But, um, yeah, horse riding. You did a great job. <laughs> there were some hysterical moments on the I horses. I had to swap though. horses quite a few times because um, I thought it was the horse's kind of fault, but it's not, it's mine. Um, <laughs> got a lot of work to do there. <laughs> I love challenge all the time. I like to challenge myself. I need, you need challenge to do something good, huh? So if there is no challenge, I make a challenge. I like to break my leg. I like to break my own leg so I can stand up again because that makes an energy, you know? And I like energy and I, the cameras only observe energy. So that's what I'm working on all the time. So I had to ch ch challenge myself all the time. Otherwise I'm get bored and I don't like that. So if there is no challenge, I'm fucking doing it. So, but the, the big challenge I don't care about because I'm, I'm an old trained sportsman and we not, I mean, if you don't have a challenge, there is no life. So you, you, you come over that very fastly. You do your training and you train, I train every day. And so, so when I do that, it, it, it came alive of how can I break my leg today? How can I stand up again? How can I fall down and then race? Because that's energy. So I planned that, and um, every day, I mean, <laughs> we are so good treat. I mean, if you have to do something, we have trainers, you know? It's not a big surprise what we're doing. And it, it, it comes to us very early in stage, you know, so you have time to learn it, you have time to train, you know? And, and um, <sighs> that's how it has been, been acting for so many years, that every time you have to do something, you have to train it, you know? You have to learn it, you know? And, and thank God I have the skills to do that, you know, because otherwise it has been difficult and it's not difficult. You have the best and you get the best out of it, you know. So you make it easy for yourself, then the challenge is less, you know. So, it, <laughs> so and, and so, um, yeah. Uh, if I should say something about challenge, uh, no, because, God damn it, it's full of the man all the time challenge. Toughest day on set was probably when I tore my hamstring. 
Um, that was obviously uncomfortable, but also when you have an injury like that and you're not entirely sure what has happened, but you know something bad has happened, um, you then spend a lot of time uh, thinking about how bad it's going to be and how this is going to affect the rest of my action career. Oh, I know that my toughest day. It was, oh, it was the worst day. Oh, I mean, I, it was just that we'd been shooting six day weeks and it was this week where we, it wasn't considered night shoots, but it also, but it sort of went into the, right into the evening. And anyway, the, the timings were just horrible. And the scene that we were shooting involved so many people. And, um, and I, and we'd, like I said, we'd been doing six day weeks for so long by then that I was just like drained. And, and I remember that last, it was the last, it was on the Saturday and it was the, towards the very end of the day and I was having to do this really intense scene and I was just like completely drained. It was like the most emotionally frustrating day for me, like the worst day of the film, the filming. Oh. I was, oh, it was awful. But anyway, it was fine. The rest of it was lovely. It was just that week was tough, yeah. And for me, it was whenever there was a night shoot, I think I found night shoots really hard because mm. I'm cold. Um, I say this in every like interview, but I, I, I genuinely, do really suffer in the cold and I can't think so it's really difficult and I'm a perfectionist as well so on top of that I can't fully commit to like saying a line um, so I really struggle when I'm cold. Joyed a lot of the scenes I did with Kim Bodnia um, who plays Vesemir. We worked very hard together to bring something which wasn't necessarily on the page, um, a, a three-dimensionality to these these male characters who live up in the mountains, who have this, uh, who could potentially be seen as as one tonal unless dealt with uh, very carefully. And so um, Kim and I just worked very hard at bringing that stuff to the fore. And there's, there's um, a number of scenes in there where we show a, a soulfulness um, and and an emotionality between them. I've got so many. I don't think we can spoil. Like I, I can't spoil my the, the, my most special scene. For so. me, the scene that always comes to mind, or on a on the uh, in terms of as an actor learning, in terms of just um, that what's within the scene, um, the things said by the character, what's said by the characters. I'd say it's the scene um, between. Uh, Siri and Vesemir in episode five, um, when they were uh, in the lab, um, because yeah, that was an amazing scene to get to film. I learned so much during it, just working with Kim, and um, and yeah, I just they they, they go for, like through such an emotional journey in that scene. It's kind of like they're all over the place. Like it, it, there's so much going on. That's mm -hmm. what I was talking about earlier, and um, yeah, that one. This is not a spoiler because it's been in some of the trailers, um, but I will say to me, it was both the hardest and my favorite, um, which is the uh, training sequence with Siri up on the obstacle course. Um, from a production standpoint, it was a nightmare. Um, we are supposed to, you know, be shooting in an actual snowy environment, and instead we were shooting on our very sunny, dead of summer back lot uh, right outside London. So it's all the fake snow blowing around and, and Freya is dressed in winter clothes and she's trying to be cold. Um, I believe there are 132 shots um, or 133 shots in that sequence and 132 of them involve VFX um, for everything, you know, for wires, for environment and snow and obviously to make the obstacle course more dangerous. That being said, it is the most pivotal point for her character. And I think that not just uh, did the character of Siri grow, but Freya Allen as an actor grew as she was, uh, grew in confidence and grew in abilities as she was doing this. And it's one of my favorite, favorite sequences. Something has changed, girl. The world's acting strange these days. The North and South are war. Monsters roaming when they should be hibernating. Maybe it's the end of days. Are you winning the death? I've lived through three supposed end of days. 
It's all horseshit. This continent was meant for no one. None of us will have any peace. Until there are no monsters left in the world. Everybody know. That's my home. My fight. Your precious leader's after something. You're a pawn to get to it. We build our forces, strengthen our numbers. We are an empire. The war's just begun. There is an illness that can consume you. Our best chance is to face it. Are you ready for this? If what you say about that girl's power is true, you can't help her. The man, the myth, the legend. We you need your help. Fine, but first... Gentlemen, it's been an honor. What? I made new friends. Get over it. Jealous.